It's Easter time, and here in Queensland, I mean Queensland, over the Easter break, people love nothing more than to gorge themselves on seafood. It's basically tradition. So, I'm taking it upon myself to catch my own this year, and there's one nasty little crustacean I have in mind. The Australian mud crab. Elusive, aggressive, and very expensive. These are one of the most sought after seafood in the country, and they go for like 60 bucks each. But I have a secret weapon. I live about a one minute walk from the river, which means I don't need a boat. Anyway, let's get started. Finn, are we going to catch some crabs today? Hmm? Psych, I've already got crabs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really know what to show for stock footage while I talk about this, so we'll just film Finn. Uh, the plan for today is to put some crab pots in and hopefully we catch some big mud crabs. Get that camera off my face. If you're a fellow Queenslander. So I'll show you guys what pots I'm using and like the bait and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we'll go walk them down, leave them overnight and hopefully when I collect them tomorrow, we'll have some big mud crabs. Finn, you've chewed on my ear one too many times. I really didn't want to have to do this, but um... <laughs> He's fucking loaded. No, nah, that's it. He didn't learn from the yoker. Gonna have to bring out the big guns. He's peeing. He's peeing. No. Finn, no. So this is what we're dealing with. We got two of these rectangle ones, which I've used once before on core crabs. And we're gonna try one of these big circle ones as well. I have a bunch of disgusting smelling bait here. They're just like fish frames, old fish that we've caught, filleted. All that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm gonna cut that up, put them into these, walk about one minute down the road, and uh, yeah, get real muddy and fucking disgusting. I'm gonna put the biggest bait in this one because this is the biggest pot. Sometimes you just gotta wonder if it's worth paying the $60 for a mud crab instead of having to go through this. Now, the fun part of carrying this all the way down to the river. Fucking <laughs> meow! This is our opening. Find a good place for the pots and get the fuck out of here as quickly as we can. Yeah, I haven't really missed on this. I mean, it looks pretty cool out here though, I'll admit. It's very low tide at the moment, which means the water's all the way out there. So I'm gonna put the pots along these mangroves, the tide's gonna come in, pull the water, and the cap should come out. And I'll check them at this time tomorrow. Right up to this branch. And we just gotta walk it out as far as we can go with the amount of rope we have. Oh. God damn, I do be sinking though. There's this old crab pot here that I saw when I was here two months ago. I don't know why it's still here. I think someone lost it. And now it's just chilling here forever. Fuck off, you mosquito dogs. I'm gonna set this one up here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Man, the tides were just coming in that fast. I barely even had time to wipe my ass before I came down here. What are you smiling at? Can't you see I'm suffering? God damn. All right, well, it's pretty straightforward now. We just wait until this time tomorrow when the tide's out. And that's the fun part. That's when we see if we caught anything. Pause the video. Actually, don't even pause the video. I'll give you a moment to do it. Do you think we're going to catch any big mud crabs? Oh, hell no, man. All right, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll see if you guys are right. All right, it's the next day. It's been about 24 hours, which means it's time to catch some big fucking mud crabs. Gonna put on my awesome, lovely, muddy clothes from yesterday because I didn't want to have to wash them twice. We'll start walking down there and hopefully there's some big mud crabs waiting for us. <sighs> All right, we're back. I brought a little bit more bait with me in this esky just in case we don't catch any. Might leave them in for another night because it seems like a ways going through all this. It's just not get any crabs. God damn, there's way more water than there was yesterday. We'll see if I can check them with how much water's here. Okay, I can see one pot. Can't see any crabs in it. Oh, it's looking grim. Doesn't look like there's anything in it. Empty. It's a bit of a rip. Big circle one, please. Oh, you want some? You want some? One little mud crab, tiny. Hey guys, welcome back to my ASMR video. Please have a decent crab in it. Nothing. Looks like there probably was a crab here, but it's taken this outside of the uh, pot that had the prawns in it. Fucking boons. Looks like we're leaving these boys in for another night. So I'll show you this little crab in here. All right, so this is a baby one. Hopefully you guys can see that. You can tell he's a male. Hell no, man. 
There's that little triangle on his stomach there. If he was a girl, it would be a lot more circular. You can go away. See, I reckon if I went up that way, where it's a much longer walk, I'd probably have way better chances. Um, but I just can't be bothered. If there's any mud crabs around here, they should go for it. Even though they fucking didn't last night, I'm sure they will tonight. Mm -hmm. And get me a collab with Femboy Fishing already. Welcome back to another episode of Femboy Fishing. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, so same deal as yesterday. If there's no crabs that I can keep, I brought some more bait in the old reliable esky. I'm kind of excited, I got a good feeling. Oh my God, it's so windy. I'm gonna check the closest pot first. Wait, what the hell? I can see a mud crab. I can see a mud crab in that pot. That old one that's been here for like months. What the fuck? Look at that. Okay, don't know why he's there. My pot looks empty though. Absolutely nothing. Please. I swear I can see something in there. Psych! Just one small one again. And a fish that got stuck. I'm dying, help me. All right, one pot left. It's like I'm leaving these things in for another night and moving them. What's a man got to do to catch some crabs? Hell no. Remember when I said I had a good feeling? I have a one crab pot that's been here for months and doesn't even have bait in it, caught a crab, and all of mine didn't. All right, I'm gonna do what I talked about yesterday and take them out that way. Be free. Mr. Krabs. I wonder if he's a boy or a girl. Oh, you fasty. I think it's a girl. I can usually tell by the size of their claws. It's another abandoned crab pot. Oh, this looks like a good spot. This is like a little covey inlet on the mangroves. I'll try it here. So if I don't catch any crabs tomorrow, I wouldn't even be able to do this again if I wanted to because I'm all out of bait. So, these pots sort of need to come in clutch or I'm fucked. Almost fucking died on that old crap pot. All right, one there, one over there, plus those little poles sticking out and one further down. I'm going home to have another shower and I will probably, fingers crossed, see you tomorrow. For the last day of the great Easter crab hunt. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Welcome to the third and final day of the Great Easter Crab Hunt. As soon as I come out here to get ready and go down the... Do you mind? Oh man, I really hope there's just one big juicy crab today. If I end up doing this for three days and not catching any crabs, that is so sad. Crab's still in there from yesterday. The first pot is the big orange circle one right in front of us. Can't see anything in there. I think I just see another small one, honestly. Just another small one and another fish. And I can't see anything in this second pot either. Nothing in that pot. I'm not gonna catch any crabs, am I? Holy shit, no crabs. Well, there was 100% crabs in here. You can see how chewed up that little wire thing is that had the bait in it. I guess it got out at some stage. You see what I mean? Look how messed up this is. I think the little fish that was stuck in its pot is still alive. I can just see him flapping around, see if I can get him out of there. So you have chosen death. <sighs> Go swim, swim away. It's a, it's a boy, but he's too small. Come on, out to come. Thank you. He would be getting close-ish to legal, but he's not quite there yet. Oh, he's feisty as fuck. I'm just gonna let him go on his way. Don't really want to disturb him any more than I have already. You dumb motherfucker? Your lucky day, my friend. If you were a couple of centimeters bigger, I'd probably be taking you with me. Yes, I get it, you're fucking angry. Well, I may have not caught any crabs to keep and give to my family. Oh, you nasty ass bastard! But at least you guys got to see the whole uh, experience. I'm really trying to save this video. And you got to see some mud crabs. I mean, I'm pretty sure this pot is abandoned. I hate touching other people's crab pots like I never would, but I don't think this pot actually belongs to anyone anymore. So the crab that's in it, I think I'm just gonna let it go. What do you reckon, Mr. Crab? All right, let's, let's get him out of there so he doesn't die in this thing. It's a boy. It's probably almost legal, too. There he goes. Another small boy. I just don't think this pot even belongs to anyone anymore. It's been here for months. Oh, well, at least you got to see another crab, I guess. I don't know, I got to think of an outro, I guess, unless we leave it here. Regardless, thank you for watching this video. We didn't catch any big monster crabs, but 
you know, we tried. We left him in for three nights. I'll try to keep doing stuff like this from time to time. Keep failing. And uh, I'll see you guys around. See ya. I got a penis up inside my mouth. Yeah, I'm about to get dicked down. Dick down. Three dudes in my asshole now. Shit on them, turn their dicks brown. It's about to go down.